Hello, and you're tuned into Seven. And taking you on a journey beyond sight and sound, I'm your guide to this particular corner of the Twilight Zone, Matthew Mills. And welcome to the latest of our Seven lecture series, The Mirth Matriculation. Now, I'm simply introducing this one because we've got an absolute treat for you. We've got a special guest lecturer, uh, the eminent, uh, the redoubtable, and thoroughly cute and fluffy, Professor Boson Bear. Now, I've had the pleasure of knowing Boson Bear for, for many years now. He's helped me in my career. Uh, we drive fast cars together. And more recently, as you can see from the picture here, we've been working on our, our latest film series, Loose Change, which is due for release very soon. Now, uh, Boson actually needs no real introduction. Uh, you can see from his CV here, uh, he's had a glittering career. Um, so uh, without further ado, I'm going to hand over to Boson. Boson. Hello. Do you know me? I'm Boson Bear. I'm a consultant to the retail financial services industry and I've worked with a number of high profile companies in the City of London. I'm here today to talk to you about the importance of fun in financial services. Now why might you be asking yourself, is fun so important? Well, one of the first things is, most of us like to do things that are fun rather than things that are boring. And let's face it, Financial services is boring, so to get you to engage with it, it has to be interesting and fun. The second thing is that when you enjoy something and when it's fun, you'll tend to smile. And a little known fact is that even when you simply smile, you become 25 to 30% smarter. Now that's important because it'll help you make much better financial decisions. So fun helps you to engage and to make better decisions. Now that's particularly important as well because our industry has a tendency to take itself far too seriously. Wearing power suits and using very exclusive language to befuddle people and talk them into doing things that they really don't fully understand. Much better is to take the work seriously but not yourself so that it's easier for people to engage rather than simply buying because somebody represents an authority figure who we feel we should buy from, even though we're not entirely sure. So, there you go. 25 years as a consultant in retail financial services and three great reasons why we should make the process of financial services and financial planning fun. Thank you very much. Wow, thank you, Boson. Uh, what can I say? Compelling and rich. But what have we learned? Well, the, the first thing we've learned is that when things are fun, we're more likely to engage with them, we're more likely to do things. Um, so it's actually a good idea to make anything that's actually essential to us, like our financial planning, for example, fun. We also know that when we simply smile, we activate uh, parts of our brain that make us better at problem solving and, making, and processing information. Basically, it makes us a little bit smarter, so more likely to make better decisions when uh, things are fun. Uh, equally, simply because uh, we don't take ourselves too seriously doesn't mean we don't take the work seriously. Uh, and that, that's a really important distinction to make because quite often we find that in our industry, which takes itself dreadfully seriously, is maybe the, the work is, is coming second to uh, image. So uh, uh, image over content there. Uh, now, just in case you're interested as well, there's a little reference there to a, a fabulous book if you want to do some further reading on this matter. And it's called The Happiness Advantage by Sean Anker. Summarizes a lot of the academic research that backs up a lot of what Boson was saying. And that's it for the moment. And uh, uh, many of the principles you can see summed up in the disclaimer here. Pri the principle of which is to say that this video is intended to uh, inform, to educate and entertain, and most certainly does not represent advice. On that note, we will see you next time.